and welcome back to the channel my people hope everyone is having a really nice day hope you saw yesterday's video because we found nothing i mean we saw john wick's charger rt it was actually really nice it was a it was a very nice die cast i would have loved to get it but that tire that's a no-go for the Florida man. Oh, wow. Look at this RX-7, dude. That thing looks awesome. Look at the blue paint. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Looks great. Love the blue. Oh, there's a nitrous bottle right back there. Okay, okay. Oh, look at the video game scene in the background, like the old 8 16-bit type type uh, display. Pretty cool. Oh, nothing else has changed at all here. There's the DeWalt. There's the focus factor. It's like they're right next to each other. Yeah, so that could be the chase. That could be the chase. Uh, and again, guys, don't get confused because I was speaking to another collector and uh, he assumed that this was the chase. And I said, no, 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 no. That's a main line. They have two versions just like our other die cast chases or even though these aren't really die casts, they're all plastic, but just like our normal die cast chases, there is a main line and a chase and you have to know which is which. I mean, dude, is, is nobody buying a Hot Wheel? Oh, B case, come on, what is going on here? B case, <laughs> what? They, they didn't get a B case, there's no way. It had to have been here, there's no way, there's no way. All the H case cars are gone. I don't even see one. I'm like a white Dodge van or anything. Oh, there's one. There's an H. There's an H. Yeah, see, that says D. Hot Wheels four track. Oh, that's probably one of them new H casers. Oh man. I guess you really never know what could happen until you start looking. Drag strip demons forever. They made a million sets of these. I'd love to know how many, really. Like, just tell us. It had to have been a million. Oh, dude, they got the new two packs. We missed it. What a shame. There it is. I mean, we already got some, so it's not a big deal. But wow, that would have been cool to see some more. Yeah, it's weird right now, man. I think things are slowing down a little bit, maybe. Right, so well, good. We're going to keep it moving. Pavement to the feet. Pavement to the feet. As far as I know, I don't think we've seen those exclusive trays here at the Dollar General. But what am I seeing here? Yeah, P case. Wait, they may have gotten a P case? Dude, for real? Wow, they did. Back on the P case at the Dollar General. Oh my gosh, it's 400 degrees in here. Holy cow, dude, it is so hot. Bone shaker, matchbox, nothing, boiler truck, brick thing. All right, let's look through just in case there was a soup. In the case, there's the trick mod rod. That's not the treasure hunt. And the TV series Batmobile in gold. Oh man, I thought that was gonna be like a really good Hot Wheel. <laughs> well, we don't always win. All right. Oh, uh, let's see, Range Rover Classic. Max Steel, we already looked through that row. Uh, we look through that row. We look through that row. Yeah, I don't even see like a 32 Ford or anything. And then what was the other thing? The drifter? Some kind of drifter. Drifter, drifter, something. There is another section though in this store. Hey, they have this little sneaky section at this store as well. But all I see is Matchbox. 32 Model B. Come on, dudes, please, in the comments, is this part, like, all right, so there's a 36 Ford Coupe. I don't even remember seeing that thing. And a Black Beetle. Come on, Matchbox. I'm gonna have to just get a list of their their cars. They must have it somewhere. Someone must have a list. Uh, anyway, if that's, if that's like, part of, of the Super Chase, someone, please, in the comments, let me know. Hey, next up on the Diecast One Train, we're gonna try a wall fart, and then if there's nothing here, we're done. We're gonna go back to the Diecast Compound. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff from Johnny Lightning that I even haven't seen from for a while. Maybe we'll also check out the Auto World, since everyone wants to see my collection. <laughs> no, it's cool. Uh, I, there's, nothing, there's nothing to show in stores, so we'll... We'll go back to the compound and we'll revisit some old memories. It'll be great. Ooh, we got some new M2 machines. Wow, the, the quantity is tiny. The number, 6,050, 6,250. Nothing says anything about... Nothing says anything about a Chase Arena. Buick, Skylark, Fanta. 
the Coke, that thing. So I wonder if these are part of that same wave or, or yeah, Coke, Fanta, duh. Buick Skylark, so no Chase Arena. It's all good, it was the truck anyway. I, I mean, unless there's more than one Chase in the wave, but I know Works found it because Works just finds everything lately. Oh man, should I get another one of these so we could like get the wheels off right and not have them all mangled? It's such a good wheel for wheel swapping. Dodge van still remaining, unbelievable. I'm telling you, down the road, man, people are gonna really like that. All right, box sets, great. Just keep them coming. We, we're ready for the Nissans, man. I'm ready for them GTRs. We do have full pegs, but it's like it's like a trick because they're all they're all like messed up, dude. Like the cards. I don't know, man. Maybe they just empty the dump in and put them right up on the pegs. It's F case anyway. I, I, I'm done with the F case. We, we're ready for a new case, please. I'm done with F, please. Okay. All good. I'm done. Let's go back to the compound. I'm gonna look at some old stuff. Uh, I've, I found a box uh, of, of some old cars and there were some white lightnings and things in there. So let's just have a little fun and check out some of the Florida Man's collection. Oh, dudes, I just stopped by a CVS. There's a Hot Wheels tray. It is full of Matchbox and it's got a weird mix. Wow, a Chevy Silverado. Dude, that's kind of cool. And Jurassic World. I don't think we've seen that at the wall fart. Another Explorer, and that one looks like a dinosaur. We have a Ford panel van, Jurassic World. We have not seen this mix. And the Jeep Wagoneer, that one kind of looks familiar. I don't think this little Wrangler though. That's kind of cool. So why are they all in the Hot Wheels box? Where are the Hot Wheels? <laughs> there's the poor spider. Dude, imagine there's a Merc in here. Uh, what is that? A Mercedes Benz. Gosh, I might buy that Silverado. Not even choking. I'm not even choking around. See, I'm not even choking around with ya. Ha ha ha. All right, nothing, nothing in here, but that's pretty cool, dude. Check your CVS, guys. Maybe you'll find a Hot Wheels tray with Matchbox and a Super Chase, or maybe you'll find a Hot Wheels tray with Hot Wheels. Or maybe you'll find a Hot Wheels tray with actual Hot Wheels. Okay, we have some Hot Wheels here. Not very many. Mm, would love to see that tray fresh, dude. Gosh, what is going on here, man? We got to get our, our pavement back on our feet, for real. Well, we tried, my people. And unfortunately, this area is dead right now. It's okay. It's dry. It happens. Everything comes in waves, like I've told you. Patience and persistence. Here is my broken hearted die cast of a zinger, the beautiful 62 Chevy Impala with actual white lightning pearl paint, which is very cool, but I didn't know they had plastic tires and it just ruins it for me. I'm sorry, dude. Maybe we can wheel swap a zinger. I really want to open one still. I do have uh, those the extra trucks. Uh, here's another Silverado, one of 13,800 and, uh, you know, brokenhearted again. But they are amazing castings. Uh, oh, this is cool. So there's a Silverado that doesn't have the roll bar, uh, which is in my hand. And then their other version has the factory option roller, the different Silverados. That's pretty cool. And they're both singers. Orange Flambe uh, in Huffin. Oh, that's cool. They're both number one in the series. Look at that. Number one, number one, number one. But yeah, I got two of these. They were at the Hobby Lobby. And I just really liked zingers because I thought those were like a premium tire. Uh, and these were White Lightning Pearl. So I got them. I liked them. Here's a really cool one. Look at this, guys. One of 2,980. Wow. 2020. Release three. From 2020 to uh, 2021, we've gone from 2980 to 14,000. I mean, that's just crazy, dude. Imagine if you found the lightning to this Type R. It's an amazing car. I have two of these. Yeah, I found two of them at the wall fart years ago, uh, back in 2020. This is 2020 release three. Uh, the Lincoln, I think I have the Lincoln also, the blacked out Lincoln. That one's pretty cool. And I think that's it.
the demolition derby was cool that car was pink and uh the, the only thing is i saw the white lightning and it had the white tires and it just looked amazing so i never bought the main really love the type r integra import heat they did a very nice job carbon fiber hood and everything dude Here's something a little bit newer the trivial pursuit classic edition the skyline r34 we are still seeing this wave showing up in stores just just randomly uh it does have a rubber tire yep it does have a rubber tire which is great love the blue i'm so glad they didn't put a, a trivial pursuit livery or something on there uh the fact that it's just the skyline r34 uh it's great it's great and you get a gtr coin as well oh by the way i found uh i found this casserole chase dude remember this one came in that box was all crushed uh out at the wall fart but this is a real liquid color chase piece. Guys that are not aware, so this has a main line which is not as shiny. The main doesn't have as shiny of a paint job. And in, in, unfortunately, between waves, that shine may not even exist along with the sticker. So on some of the NASCARs, you do just have to know some stuff, unfortunately. As we know from our Tootsie's chase that we found two of at one store, making it even harder to know if we found the chase. Oh cool, we can make another keychain because like this was in these, somehow was in these boxes. Uh, if you remember back in the videos, somebody was telling us uh, in the DMs to watch out for these tins. They're very sneaky. If you see one with a white line, you found the white lightning. And I was like, okay, we're making a video. We're going into a store and I'm telling everybody, well, hey guys, I got this awesome DM. So check out the tins because if you see a, wait, we just got the white light. Yeah, so no, it wasn't that bad. But uh, the 1960 Ford Mustang GT tin, white lightning from Johnny Lightning. It's a sneaky one. I know some of the tins, they're not great lightnings, but... This one is, man. This is one of my favorite white lightnings ever. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. It's got the pearl paint, a chrome interior, which I never even noticed until now. Awesome. The white tires, it's a beauty. One of 4,800, but it's less, you know, the chases are less, like 3%. So 3% of 4,800, whatever that math is, you can let me know in the comments. Shout out to Foxy Diecast. We did a trade. I had a Fox Body White Lightning uh, with the white tires and stuff. And I think it was a tin too, but it, it had white tires and you could really tell it was a chase. And he really wanted it. So he said, hey, dude, I have this uh, Evo. And I said, oh, oh, well, send her on over, dude. You can have that tin. I'll be happy to have the Evo. Oh, I found the first Willie Robinson Racing Champions Daytona that I found. And what was interesting is for some reason it's only $3.99. What the heck? I had to pay like 10 bucks for the other ones. Uh, what a shame, but it's all good. Uh, now that I have this, maybe I'll just return the the other main. Like, why do I, I just want one Daytona. Well, you know what? We'll keep it. We'll give it away on the whatnots. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll save that. And I guess I bought two of these. I don't know. I really liked it, but I, I don't remember buying two. I mean, this is the GT, the Shelby GT500, the carbon fiber track pack. This is a different release than what we're seeing on the shelves uh, with this most current wave, uh, but it's it's the one of the first versions, I think. Well, no, it's version B, so it's not the first release too. Either way, there was another color. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was black? I don't know. The red one looks awesome. It's an amazing die cast. I love the details. Even though it's not an ultra red, it's still really cool. Here's an ultra red. Oh man, I was so excited to finally find one of these blue carded chases with the with the with the ultra red. There's no red base, but obviously it's a chase. What's weird is I can't find the Supra because we we have the Supra in the red like here's here's a super but i think this one is the, is the main things are so stuck in this box for some reason oh no that is it okay cool man let me grab the one from flamingo 305 and we'll compare i, I think it's the same exact one i think we already have it yeah no there it is that's so crazy look at that dudes two of the exact same ultra red right in front of us wow these are just so rare i mean this is incredible so, all right, we're, we're definitely giving one away. It's fine, I already have one, it's cool. 
So this is our, uh, what is it, our 15? Yeah, we're almost at 16K already, but uh, the winner is going to be chosen soon, so get ready, check your emails. You will receive this ultra red for free in the mail, United States and Canada, for the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Oof, love that Supra, that's so cool. I'm glad it was in here. I didn't think I could find it. What's that? Oh, that's the matching one, yep. And then we got this, member. Oof, I think this... The Supra and that may have come from the exact same store, the exact same day. Uh, so there it is, the beautiful Trans Am. Love the fire. Oh, Firebird, right? Oh yeah, Firebird Trans Am. Okay, okay, all right. Firebird Trans Am. Lots of names here. Uh, love the ultra red, dude. Look how cool that looks, man. Against the white card like that. Very, very cool. And we do have the main in there as well. Here's another ultra red we found. The uh, '64 Grand Prix Bobcat, red base, red body. The Sunfire Red Poly, you know, I, I, I think that the it's a little ruined by, you know, the fact that the car is originally a red car. So, I mean, it's cool. It's an ultra red. It's a chase. Of course, I grabbed it. Uh, but it just doesn't stand out like, you know, like the C8. It doesn't have the same kind of in-your-face pop. Uh, of a chase with the exception of the white tires and that beautiful beautiful ultra red base i love seeing those bases we have another uh ultra red supra as well thanks again to foxy underscore 86 diecast uh shout out to you buddy i haven't talked to you in forever dude we really need to talk uh he did send this we did some other kind of deal some other kind of trade and as you can see it's supposed to be silver uh this one does have a red base which it's so surprising to me that this one doesn't have a red base because they already have a supra red base right like they already have it like i don't understand are they different are the bases different um exhaust out that way some kind of lines up in the front where the oil pan, some kind of lines up in the front. Yeah, that's the exact same base, dude. They probably even have the same, like, oh, they're really, oh, there's some information printed. It's impossible to read without a magnifying glass. So yeah, two ultra red supers in the Florida man's collection. <laughs> Okay, cool, 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 cool. What a fun little trip down memory lane, my people. I love the ultra reds with the red wheel. Absolutely love that. And when they do the gold wheel too, I like that, like in the four packs. Of course we have four packs, we have two packs, we have other packs. There's probably other reds somewhere that I'm not even remembering. I am, I'm absolutely, sh oh yeah, there's a Mustang somewhere, the first one I ever found. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there's more, but this is just a few of the items from the Florida Man's collection. Everyone always is asking to see what I have. So there you go, guys. There's nothing in the stores, we might as well have a a little fun here at the diecast compound uh get ready for our next whatnot show because we will be doing some cool giveaways